challenge that we worked on was the Wish You Were Here uh, Mars Weather Challenge. And what we really started looking into things was, uh, the true challenge was visualizing weather coming from Mars. And we thought to ourselves, well, let's take this a little bit further. How can we take that information, but make more people interested in science, make more pe interested, people interested in Mars and the Curiosity rover. So where we wound up landing with things was building a mobile application called Sol, which represents the date on Mars, Sol date. And so we looked at this and we thought to ourselves, well, if we make the most compelling weather application on an iPhone, something beautiful, something that's really easy to interact with that has Earth weather that everyone could use, but we paired that in a certain way to uh, show Mars weather, that we may start making people more interested in Mars, making them more interested in the weather. So really what we developed was Sol, the first interplanetary weather app. Before we even got to design and concept, we had to figure out a way we were gonna get, grab the data. After diving into literally gigabytes worth of data uh, that NASA has accumulated over the past, what, three quarters of a year or something like that, yeah. um, that there was really no like great way for people uh, anywhere in the world to be able to grab that data. So that, uh, after a little bit of thinking and talking with developers here, we came up with a thing called the MOSS API, or the Mars Atmospheric Aggregation System. And, uh, what that allows developers to do is to make um, queries to this database and be able to grab that data where they can get the latest data or uh, a series of past data. After that was finished, then we um, started talking about design, and Ben was the one that kind of worked on the design. Yes, the creative team wanted to leverage all the great things we had. We had an awesome concept, smart people, and a wonderful technology that sort of grabbed the hold of all this. So we wanted a striking and sexy design to make sure that people wanted to look at this and be compelled to actually look at the information. So really in the end, what we created was a solution from all the way on the back end to all the way to the front end. Um, so we built an API, worked with the NASA data to make it cleaner, make it better. We worked with other scientists at NASA to verify our data and make it as, as good as possible. And then we opened that up. So the MOSS API, which we have available uh, openly at marsweather.engineology.com, can be used by anybody to build anything. And so we made that open, open source. And then we went and built really an example of what you could do with the MOSS API, which was this weather app. And so together, in 48 hours, we were be able to go from building uh, you know, automated data pools all the way to delivering this end solution. So we will be publishing it in the App Store, and it's uh, something we're very excited about, and I think really helps further the NASA mission and helps further you know, the brand cause of NASA.